Survival kits come in many different sizes and shapes. Today we're gonna to take a look at one which I think is extremely innovative. That is the Alpenlore Survival Belt. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So the folks at Alpenlore were kind enough to send me a couple other survival belts to check out and show to you. And I gotta tell you, I first saw these on um, Taro Bushcraft on his channel. I'll put a link to Taro's channel below too. He's, he's over in Switzerland. He does a great, great job and great videos. And he's just, he's got a lot of skills. I mean, he's one of my favorite channels. But anyway, I first saw this belt on his channel. He has some good things to say about it. So when the folks at Alpenlore contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at it, of course I said yes, because, you know, I like survival kits anyway. And I just think this is a cool concept. So, so let me show you a couple of things I think are really cool about the belt. Then we'll get to look and see what's in the kit and get to doing some of that survival belt stuff. Okay, so here is the belt, me wearing it, and I'll show you a couple of things I think are pretty cool about it. First of all, it, they have two different versions of the belt. They have one, this is, a, this is an actual Cobra buckle, and it's a small enough Cobra buckle to fit through your belt loops, at least on, on these true spec pants, which are, I, some, I think that's cool because most Cobra buckles are a lot larger than this. Has a nice um, ring here you can, you can clip onto and do a different, you know, for, use for different things. Very high strength uh, nylon webbing, which I think is one of the great features about this. Even though it's got all the paracord on it, it is actually the belt itself is the webbing material. So there's not, not any stretch like you would normally get with just a solid belt made only of paracord. Um, but just to show you that the cover buckle just fits right through very easily through your belt buckles and then you just snap it. As I'm sure you know, cover buckles are very, very strong buckles and they're used in a, in a lot of lot different rigging belts and stuff. So you order these things by size, but it does have some adjustment and you can, you can get it tight or loose as you prefer and then i like the fact that it doesn't have a bunch of velcro here to get in your way you can slip this in in your belt loop very easily and you know you might see a little bit of shininess through there if you can see that under there that's actually because this thing has a space blanket in it um and then adjustment here also on, on either side for you to adjust this loop so just a, it's a very highly adjustable um, belt it comes in a lot of different colors this one happens to be i think is od olive and black I'll have another one that's gray and black, so really nice belt, really nice colors, looks good, and you can w use this thing through your belt loops or on the outside of your belt loops just as a general camp belt. Anyway, that's the uh, belt on, um, a couple things that I think are pretty cool about it. Let me take you down the old stump top now, and we'll take a look at the survival kit part of the belt. Okay, so first of all, this is the way the belt comes packaged. It comes packaged in a very nice bag that you can use in your, in your gear. And basically, it's got a it's a stand up style bag, so you can you can put water in it, stand it up. So it's just a very nice packaging that you can actually use. Um, it also comes with this this um, little mini survival guide. It tells you not only how to use the uh, belt, but it also gives you some some pretty nice different survival tips and tricks and different information that'll come in helpful. You can just put that in your pocket or whatever. So um, just another. Just a cool little addition to the kit. So we'll put that back in the bag now. This is a different color. So you've seen the uh, Cobra buckle. These are genuine Cobra, bu Cobra buckles from Austria. You also have the, uh, they have an option of getting a, poly a polymer buckle, which is basically the same concept as a Cobra buckle, but just a little bit lighter weight and it costs a little bit less money. The uh, Cobra buckle version is about 100 bucks with a survival kit, and the polymer version is about 80 with a survival kit. If you don't want the kit, you just want the belt with the paracord on it, um, then it's about 20 bucks cheaper. So, so we got the buckle, we got the kit, we saw that. Comes with up to 50 feet of paracord, and I guess that depends on what size belt you got. The bigger waist you have, the more paracord you're gonna wind up with, but this is good mil spec pa paracord, and a nice good chunk of cord there. 50 feet is a pretty good deal to have. Then it has this um, NASA thermal blanket that covers your body core from neck to waist. So basically there's two layers of webbing and this is, this is kind of folded up between it. Then we got a little survival kit package. So let's open that up. All right, let's see what we got in here now. Okay, we got a little ferro rod here and it's a pretty, pretty, pretty substantial ferro rod. I'd say that's at least an eighth of an inch. We'll take a look at that. Hey, it's wrapped in the uh, shows you how to make a couple of different knots on here. So pretty cool there. Then <clears throat> inside the survival kit, we've got, and it's taped six ways from Sunday too, so you don't really have to worry about it coming undone. <laughs> that's for sure. 
but um, the trick could be to get this thing untaped if you really need it. Let me get a knife. So we got it's like three matches. I'm trying not to stick myself a pretty good size, nice fish hook here. Looks like a stainless fish hook, which is good. Nothing like grabbing an old ro rusted fish hook out of your package there. A uh, three matches, two fish hooks. If I stick myself with this hook, I'm gonna cry. And a uh, it's a scalpel blade. So, one thing I'm not sure about is these matches do not, there's no striker here for these matches. So I'm not sure if these might possibly be some sort of strike anywhere match I'm not familiar with. So we'll just see if we can, maybe this on the, this is pretty dry, let's see if we can get. No, nah, that's not going to happen. It's just, just coming off, so. I didn't think they were strike anywhere matches. So, but what you might can do with them, let's see, we're just going to open up the old scalpel blade here. Try not to cut my finger if I can get out of it, and let's just see if we can what we can do with this match. Let's try this. This is a little, a little weird, a little different. Let's just see. I'll tell you what. Let's hold it on here like this and see if this will work. Hold it down. This, this is tough, man. This is tough. Okay. Survival situations are not for the faint of heart. S survival videos apparently neither. Burnt my thumb though. About to cut my finger too on this uh, scalpel. So, so that is a little bit of danger there, I think, on the scalpel. So I don't want to burn. I burnt my thumb. Look at that out right there. That's like a tiny third degree burn from that magnesium burnt burnt the end of my thumb. I don't know. The matches are not 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 happening for me. But this ferro rod is a really good ferro rod. It throws some good good sparks. So I would feel pretty confident getting a fire going with that, especially if I had my knife with me, which I'm probably going to have in addition to wearing a belt. So, oh man, that hurts, you know, by the way. I'm sorry, but that hurts. Chuck Norris can touch MC Hammer. Okay, also, 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 in addition to what you see here, the new kits, which he just revised this after he'd sent me this, they also include two water purification tablets and a water purification bag that you can put the water in when you purify it. So, all that stuff in your in your belt, which is really cool. So, okay, well, that was a quick look at the Alpenlore Survival Belt. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this little belt. I think they did a uh, pretty good job of putting some high-quality survival essentials into a package that is not going to be something you got to remember to have with you. Because if you're like me and you wear a belt most of the time, you just make this your regular belt, and you've always got you know those essentials with you. And they've got your shelter um, with the with the uh, space blanket and cordage. You've got a way to make fire, uh, although I will say the matches are kind of a disappointment. But you know, honestly, most matches I've seen in survival kits are. But you got a really nice ferro rod. you got a cutting tool with a scalpel blade. And you got some fish hooks in a way to maybe catch, catch yourself some, um, some food. And with the addition that they've add, added since I got this belt of water purification tablets and water container, I mean, it just gives you pretty much all the bases covered, at least the top five bases covered in something you're going to have with you at all, all times. Plus, it, it does a pretty good job of holding your pants up and looking good while doing so. And I just want to show you, this is the way the, uh, the belt looks with the uh, space blanket in it. So you see a little bit of the shine there. And then the uh, survival kit is actually kind of in, in here on this end. So but what that also means is even if you take the, the cordage off and you need to use it, you still got a good solid belt because the uh, strapping here is inside of it. So you still got a good solid belt you can use with the hook on it. And if, or if you need to use the strap for something else, you can use that. So all in all, just I think a really great package. As far as I know, this is just available on the Alpenlore site. I'll put a link to that below in the description. And once again, thanks to the folks at Alpenlore for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing and thank you so very much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links at survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon. It takes you straight to the regular Amazon site. Anything you buy uh, doesn't cost you any more money, but it helps support the channel a little bit, and I really appreciate it. So once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time. <laughs>